And that music means it's the start of our show. Once again, welcome audience. I'm your commentator, Dante Nalmova. In the ring is our referee, Aaron Wilson. Backstage are all our wrestlers ready to put on a nice bit of violence just for you. Let's get our first match underway. Coming to us from Mexico, weighing in at 180 pounds, is El Leon. Leon, El Leon. Sale temprano del tuburio De mañanita la cenaida Sale temprano del tuburio Arremolina su tabaco Y se va a vender fruto maduro Arremolina su tabaco Y se va a vender fruto maduro Camina duro La chancletera Expecting great things from another masked wrestler. All right, looks like Aaron is checking with both our uh, both our fighters. We're gonna see get this match underway. All right, there's the opening bell. Time and Leon up, starting with a lockup. Leon showing a little bit of technical action there with the wrist lock. Just yanking on that. The reversal. You gotta like Quentin. He's kind of a. I don't even know how to describe him. He's he's athletic. He's kind of a acrobat. He's and a striker. I don't know. He's a good hybrid of styles. But he got El Leon into a hammer lock, which El Leon reverse. And another reversal. There's hammer locks everywhere tonight. They go back into the lockup. Goes key time off the ropes. Oh, Quentin with a big shoulder block in the El Leon. And Leon bouncing back to his feet quickly. Quentin going back off the ropes, trying to take him down again. Oh, a big arm drag into an arm bar.
Dragging Quentin back to his feet. Oh, now Quentin with the arm bar. We got our first pinfall. It's a one. Oh, only a one. Quentin did not hook the leg, but that's okay. Quentin dragging Leon back up to his feet. Now Leon sent crashing into the corner. Big splash from Quentin. He's just hammering poor little L. Leon into the corner. Well, I guess he's not that little. They're about the same size, but still. Oh, big snap suplex. He just sent L. Leon's head just smashing down into the mat. Quentin going for a quick roll up, hook in the leg. A one. Oh, only a one count. But Leon's taking a little bit of a beating here, but he's showing some resilience. Quentin is just, Quentin's just really fierce. He's, he's, uh, this is the most aggressive I've seen him yet. He's just, he's just trying to put a pounding on El Leon. Leon going after Q times legs. Those thigh kicks. That's got a sting. And now Leon coming off the ropes. Big drop kick knocking Quentin down onto the mat. Leon has a chance to regain the momentum in this match. Big shooting star press and a hook of the leg. Just a one count. That was an impressive combo from El Leon, but it's going to take more than that to keep Q time down. It's like both of these young men are very hungry for victory. They both want to win. They both want to put on a good show. Eventually, eventually uh, probably going for that great t uh, gold medal. El Leon off the ropes and into a swinging hurricane runner. Both, both these guys are showing tremendous athleticism. And it looks like uh, Leon's going into the high risk zone. What you got planned? High risk equals high reward. The lion just stalking his prey, just waiting. Went and getting back up to his feet, kind of slow there. Oh my god, oh god, uh, I'm almost speechless, I'm sorry. Uh, El Leon jumped off the rope for a fly glare, hit and Q-Time just drop kicked him out of the air. Now both men are down, trying to get back up first. It looks like El Leon got up first, but Q-Time grabs him and th threw him into an Osaka cutter. Q-Time going for the exhausted pin. Both these men have fought so hard. A one, two, and a three. And it's official. It looks like our winner for the first match is Quentin Price.
Alright, how are you doing? Oh, there you are. There's Wade. He found his voice. Just in time for our second match of the night. And it looks like first coming to us from Swansea, Wales, weighing in at 190 pounds, is the insane one, Alex Camino. I like you, but you're crazy. My tours paid me, so I use that dirt to annoy ladies, to annoy bathe me. Never that my mind's for sure, shady. To pure Hades, Rev X Diddy couldn't endure to save me. Why do I let this stripper burn me on my arm with a cigarette in the same spot ten times on a road when I feel that burn upon the cutter? I'm gonna get her wet. Sorry to get killed the way I feel stupid because I ain't doing it yet. Maybe she never looked at a fine nigga sweat on her breast. I don't think there's such a thing as insane love. I think you're either insane or alter ego. Say why you let them gang bang folk in strange lane. Hoping I can maintain coping, but ain't nobody talking when the insane main spoken. Yeah. I like fire on my skin, blood on my jaws from up on the walls. I'm suffering, I'm stuck yeah, in the car, right. stuck in the jaws. I've been in the middle of the uh, dog. Afterwards, I like Coke really hot, scalding water on my balls. Yeah. All right, and his opponent. One you've all been waiting for, from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 86 kilograms, Josh Poffo! Okay, so, I just gotta say it. What the hell is a kilogram, and how much is 86 kilograms to an American like me? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know what this metric stuff is. Yes. As, I tell, as I like to tell my friends, there's some two types of countries in this world. Those who use metric and those who've been to the moon. <laughs> I, I don't understand this 86 kilograms. You look like you weigh more than 86 pounds to me. What's that weight in uh, kangaroo? <laughs> Alex Camino, Josh Poffo. Alex Camino, a legacy. Josh Poffo, a master technician in the ring. This ought to be a good show right here. Alex Camino has been wrestling since the day he was born. He comes in from a wrestling family. While well, everybody knows Josh Poffo, one of the grand old men of SL Wrestling. Definitely a show to be watching here. Mr. Ricker, good to see you out there, sir. High five, howdy, Ophi. Nice to have you here. Charlie Warblood, Blood, good to see you, Arena. Nice to see you, Samantha Foxy, all the biggest titles. Which is grassy Slavina. And that'll be my phone trying to interrupt everything right now. Stupid technology. Well, there's nobody I care about. Alright, looks like the bell is running two men face off against each other, walking up right there in the center of the ring. Josh Poffo quick to move right into that wrist lock. Very technical move right there from the master tactician. Uh, looks like Alex reversed that wrist lock into a classic hammer lock. Just pulling on that arm and shoulder. Then Josh reverses it into a hammer lock of his own. Pretty quick for an old guy. Yeah, he moves around that really pretty well for being an old man like he is. Glad to see his bones hadn't gone all wickedy yet. Side headlock there by Josh Poffo, Alex Camino. Taking a little bit of measure of the older man. Irish whip into the ropes. Poffo back off. Alex Camino there waiting for him and he goes down. Nice shoulder block by Josh Poffo. 
scoop slam. Down goes Alex Camino. Josh Poffo just laying it on him right there. He goes into stomping the younger kid. You know, if they had had guys like Josh Poffo in the Army, maybe the Aussies, Aussies would have won the Great Emu War. <laughs> What, J Josh, that was a compliment. <laughs> Josh going for a quick cover on um, Alex. Josh reaching down, picking up Alex. Oh, it's up there with good sportsmanship. They're going to help somebody up from there, from the back. Alex Camino stepping right up. Nice attack there against Josh Poffo. Josh rocked a little bit, staggered some by the big heavy blow from Alex Camino. Alex off into the ropes. He comes shooting back. Josh Poffo there waiting for him. Alec, nice drop kick, down goes Josh, youth winning out in that one right there. You have drop kicks, I think that's from our first match, it's going to be one of our highlights of the night is when uh, uh, Leon went for a flying lariat and was drop kicked out of the air mid, uh, mid shot by uh, Q time. Now it looks like our our fighters are exchanging those big knife hand chops. I don't care who you are or what size you are, a slap across the chest never feels good. Oh, that hurts like hell. Nice big European big. uppercut right there from Alice Camino sending Josh Poffo down to his ass. Alice Camino... Setting Josh right down on his billabong right there. Oh, Alice Camino, vicious move right there. Backbreaker, Josh Poffo on the receiving end. He goes down. Alex for the cover. One, two. And it looks like two is all we're going to get right there. Josh just barely getting that shoulder up in time. This would be a huge upset if... Uh... Alex, who this is only his second match that I'm that I know of in BCW, if he came in a, a beat beat a veteran like Pafo off the back like this, is it a second match? I wasn't here last show. Doctor said had a case of monkey lung. Don't ask. <laughs> oh, big super kick! But Josh just rolled out of the way. Like Josh is breathing a little hard there. Alex Camino looks like he's barely breaking a sweat. Again, I think it's that youth versus that age right there. Alex Camino sounded like he could do this all day. Josh Popo probably ought to put it into this quickly. I think the longer he's in that ring, the less chance he has of winning. Roll up in. One, two, and that's all we're going to get right there. Alex okay. Camino able to get that shoulder up. Double dose of super kicks is vicious, but not enough to uh, keep Alex down. Alex looks like he's been training a little bit. Uh, he's seeming a little bigger to me than the last time I saw him. Yeah, we're just like throwing super kicks everywhere. It's like the fourth super kick this match so far. And this time, Josh Poffo takes that one square in the mouth. He's dropped. I guess we live in a day and age where a man to kick another man in the mouth. Josh Poffo, oh. you see in that one. Alex hopping up to the third rope. Looks like he's got something big planned. Looks like he's waiting. Here he comes. He comes flying backwards, even. Beautiful moonsault. He comes flying off there and nails Josh Poffo with that. One, two, and three, Alex Camino. God, that's a huge upset. Uh, newcomer Alex Camino uh, pinning Josh Poffo, the veteran.
That's uh, definitely a feather in uh, Alex's cap. Right now, Brad, he took it. He comes up with the win on that one. Well done by your kid, Alex Camino. That's what they say, he who dares wins. I'ma get her wet. Sorry to get carried away. I feel stupid because I ain't gonna get you. Maybe she never looking to find niggas sweat on her breast. I get that so I ain't better not to open. I was pretty smart on that one. You had to be a little auntie with you on that. God damn it. The veteran away with words with all these wrestling models. You try to get a face with a face on that. I don't think it'll happen. I think Josh is far too savvy. Been in the ring far too long. Far too savvy for that. Josh is far too savvy for that. Josh is far too savvy for that. Josh is far too savvy for that. So Alex doing something that surprised him like that is it's probably what gave him the win there. Oh, definitely. Josh can. Josh is one of those guys, he can see what you're doing from a mile away and come up with something to counter it. All right, I think this is where we're supposed to pay the bills. And I, uh, I definitely think you're right. So let's see here. We're going to quickly talk about the town of Stevensville, our lovely hosts for BCW. Don't hesitate to wander around and see the sights. Check out Foxy's Pub. You can find Wildfire Station Number One, Panic's Main Store, and much, much more. Contact Josh Pavo for information on renting houses, apartments, or store space, including free advertisement during BCW shows. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, which I will. Your T-shirts in the entry fo foyer of our normal <laughs> wrestling uh, location. Not today, because we had to move. But make sure next time we're back, go grab your go grab yourself a T-shirt. And then check out our friends over at the Extreme Wrestling Federation by clicking on their poster. <laughs> and we have a new announcement. Konnichiwa. Okay. From the land of the rising sun, Pearl Isu is coming. If you if you have ever thought about a Japanese tour for your wrestler or want to create a new wrestler exclusive to Japan, now is the time to get in on the ground floor. Contact Josh Poffo or JW B Swing for more information. That's that's going to be an interesting federation there. Oh, definitely. Japanese wrestling is a world all of its own. Even more bizarre than, uh, I think, the uh, Lucha Libre. Well, it looks like uh -oh. we have, we've got our main event here. Coming to us from Alice Springs in the Northern Ter Territory, weighing in at 245 pounds. We have Jake Longley. Jake Longley has a hat. That's not Jake Longley at all. Oh wait, no, it's Jake. I just didn't recognize him. I'm glad who it is. I like the song. It's a good song. Sounds uh, typo negative, I think. Yeah, definitely good song. Where is Jake's hat? Jake, where's your hat? Did you leave it at the bar? Did you sit next to Bob Jake? Maybe he lost it in a drinking contest. He wagered it and lost his head. Well, Maybe Looks like our main event here. Whoever wins this is going to be a contender for uh, Bo Drago's gold medal. His opponent, weighing at 190 pounds, he hails from Kyoto, Japan. He is Hideo Takagi. You can bet Hideo wants a rematch for that gold medal. Uh, Lee, yes, he was 
the first one who uh, challenged Bo for it. Well, uh, his fighting spirit was great. It was not enough to overcome uh, the Nexus terror of Bo Drago. All right. We got both men in the ring. Looks like we got the bell. We are underway. Jake Longley towering over Hideo Takagi. Today are definitely going to have to rely on his speed and agility in this match. Jake, the bigger of the two men. Immediately, the day was right into that wrist lock. Jake quick to bring him down. Nice arm bar takedown right there from Jake Longley. It's some surprising agility for someone of Jake's size. Now the two locked up one more time. A little bit of pushing and shoving going on. The bear is slipping out. Nice Irish whip. Send a drink into the ropes. Jake off the ropes. Shoulder block there. Padillo down to the mat. Jake's just bulldoz bulldozing his way through Hideo. But Hideo fighting back with those solid gut punches. Now Hideo off the ropes. Big clothesline takes the big man down. Got a quick cover. Just for a, oh, just a one count. Hideo looked like he wasn't really ready to cover him. Hideo doesn't seem like he wants to go for that quick count this time. I think he's trying to prove that he should be the champion. Oh, Hideo bit it down to pick up Jake. Jake fired up with a little surprise there. The Samoan drop, catching Hideo Takagi by surprise. Hideo in a lot of trouble right now. Jake Longley pulling a little rabbit out of the hat right there. What? Oh, no. No, Jake, no. Oh, oh this isn't going to end well for anybody. Jake up on the top rope, looking a little unsteady up there, a little wobbly. Big man comes flying off, doesn't do anything fancy, just comes right on down with that big chop, the flying lariat, down goes the Takagi. Takes him down, but he could have done that right off the ropes, he didn't have to climb up anywhere. Jeez, it's like an airplane falling out of the sky. <laughs> but surprisingly, Hideo kicks out. <laughs> what the hell was Jake Longley thinking getting up on those ropes like that? Well, if we know anything about Jake, he's probably kind of hammered right now and wasn't thinking at all. But <laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> he did. He hit him. He hit him with that big leg. Jake dropping a fist right into the chest of Hideo Kakagi. Hideo covering up. Oh, Hideo, a little surprise right there, the jawbreaker. That'll get your noggin ringing a little bit there. Hideo digging down and getting some of that Japanese fighting spirit. Hideo pushing Jake back into the corner and following him in. Nice meatless into the gut of Jake Longley as Hideo Takagi tries to take charge of his match. He's got Jake trapped in that corner. Aaron Wilson telling him to get out. Takagi finally stopping. Now he grabs the big man by the foot, drags him out to the center of the ring. Looks like he's going for the figure and he's four. got it. The figure four leg right there in the center of the ring. Jake Longley nowhere to go right here. Hedera Takagi. He's got it locked in. He's got to try to keep Jake from crawling to the corner. Crawling over his ropes. Jake pulling. He is scratching. He is digging into that mat. 
And finally, Jake able to get over to the ropes. Yeah, Jake Damn. definitely using his bigger size to his advantage, dragging his much smaller opponent across the ring. But it looks like that figure four did some damage. Jake's holding that knee. Oh, Hideo going after that leg again. Back to the center of the ring. No, Hideo, stay on the leg. Stay on the leg, boy. Don't get the big man up. And there may be a mistake right there. Jake into the ropes. Oh, coming back. Hideo thought he had him. Jake got other ideas. Spit the big spine buster delivered by Jake. Roll up pin. One, two. Almost oh, that, a three. Oof, that one, Hideo just barely kicked out. It's like both these guys are starting to run out of steam. They're going to have to try and put away the other quick. Hideo should have stayed working on that ledge. He's giving the big man a chance now. Suplex. It looks like Hideo is countering. And reversing. Beautiful move there by Hideo. Hope that didn't wrench his back too much. He gets the big man up and over. And now Hideo. You can see Hideo grabbing his back. You know that hurt. That was a hell of a lot of man to get up into that suplex and over. Hideo Takagi up on the ropes. He's got Jake Longley set up. Hideo's up there on the top rock. Poised and ready. Jake's slow to get up. He is rolling over. He is on to his knees. Hideo Takagi. He is set to pounce. Up comes Jake. Hideo comes flying. Here he is. No! Rips of the flying. Mecca got caught. The outback breaker. By Jake Longley as he snatches Hideo Takagi out of midair, rolls him up. He's got the pin. One, two, and three. Hideo Takagi going down. Thought he had Jake Longley at a disadvantage. So flying off that top rope, snatched out of midair, slammed into the mat, rolled up, and pinned. Looks like Hideo's dreams of gold are as broken as his back is. I couldn't believe you got that big man up like that. Jesus Christ, that's that, some power right there. That definitely was impressive. But it looks like we have uh, Jake Longley is going to be the number one contender for BCW's gold uh, championship medal. Honestly, seeing Jake versus Bo, that's a match I definitely want to see. Well, as long as we can keep Jake sober. for coming out and uh, watching all these wrestlers put on a great show. So signing off, I'm Dante Dalmova. And everybody loves me. I'm the guy that can't seem to shut up. Way better day out here. Good to see y'all. Big huggies. Love the hat, Lorena. La Reina. I will say it correctly. Samantha Foxy, big huggies. 
Oh, it's nice to see you, Real Blood. Charlie, how are you doing? Roxy, always a pleasure to see you.